alleged cop killer shot dead in Colville Garden. The police acted speedily and in less than four hours after two policemen were shot and killed, an alleged cop killer was shot and killed in Corville Garden. A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the people's forum of in the news with big stone a male suspect in the shooting of four police officers two fatally in st catherine has been shot dead the alleged cop killer was shot dead during a police operation in corville gardens st andrew on friday afternoon reports are that about 3 45 pm a police team went to a house in the community where the suspect was old up. A shootout reportedly ensued and he was shot dead during the exchange of gunfire which also left one cop injured. A female who was found in the house with the suspect is now in police custody. Reports are that about 5 a.m. Friday morning, a police team from the St. Catherine North Division came under heavy gunfire after going to a premises in the Rising Park, St. Catherine. Further reports are that about four of the policemen were shot and injured in the shooting. They were rushed to a medical facility where two of the officers was pronounced dead. When will the bloodletting stop? When will we come together as a nation of people and to see how best we can iron out our differences? Um, the police acted very speedily, you know, two of their own were murdered, so they were on high alert and they had to find these suspects at all costs. Um, one of the suspects, as you know, was confronted in an apartment in Corporate Gardens, not too long after the fatal shooting of two of their colleagues. If the police can only step up their works and address other people, were murdered uh, then Jamaica would be a whole lot safer our condolences are with the families of these police officers and we wish those other two police officers speedy recovery the life and the work of a policeman is a very hard one and it can only be bettered if we come together as citizens of this country and try to stem the flow of illegal activities that has been happening and also the flow of the murders you know coronavirus has only killed 10 people and yet still we are bothering 500 so the situation in Jamaica is a very critical one we would only hope that when a policeman goes out and perform his duty he would get a chance to go home to his family because we understand the streets of Jamaica are very dangerous and um, we're trying to reach out to our young sons and daughters and we're trying to reach out to them to stay away from a life of crime and try and see if you can find some other way how you can make a living and how you can endure as a young man we know peer pressure is out there for a lot of you and um, we know sometimes you're misguided in the wrong company at the wrong time but Choose your company and choose your company wisely. Uh, no man should force you to choose the company that you so choose to hang with. 
We love our community, we love our country, we love our policemen, and we also love our citizens of this country. We should only try our very best to get along with each other because we have to coexist. We cannot have a country without a police department, and of course we cannot have a country without its citizens. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments, please leave it in the comment section below, and please do have a safe day. Thank you.